tell you, your spirit, your spirit, uh, your spirit can be thousand times bigger than your body. Your spirit is large. Your spirit is exp expansive. Your spirit is unlimited. Your, your spirit cannot be exhausted because it's a spirit. Otherwise, it couldn't contain the Holy Spirit. If I tell you the thing that your spirit, that is containing your spirit man, you'll be surprised. The Bible calls our spirit the hidden person, the hidden man of the heart. First Peter 3 verse 4 says the hidden man of the heart. Okay. Or the hidden person of the heart. Say, let not your adorning be merely outward. Arranging of the hair, uh, putting on fine apparel and all that. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. Anything that is precious to God, it is covered. It is hidden. Put it in your mind. Whatever is precious is hidden. Hidden. Okay. So now, God hides all his treasures in the spirit of man, which is hidden. You see, the whole Garden of Eden, which was the natural environment for Adam to be able to release his highest potential, Everything Adam needed was in the garden. Everything that will make Adam fulfill God's purpose was in the garden. Everything. Everything. There was a tree of life in the garden. There was a river in the garden. You know, a river that came to water the garden. And from the garden, it parted into four river heads and went around the whole world. That is influence. It was in the garden. One of those rivers was, was the one that produced gold for the first time. It was, it was, it was from the garden. So Adam's gold, Adam's influence, Adam's wealth, Adam's security, Adam's protection, Adam's dominion was linked to the garden. Let me tell you something. The whole garden of Eden has been transported into the believer, your spirit. The same way God was comfortable to live in the garden with Adam, come there often and that. Now God, your spirit now is the secret place of the Most High. Your spirit is the secret place of God. The secret place. And I said your spirit is the, where God hides his precious things as a believer. When you see a believer, take time, take time and, uh, and, and unravel the believer. It, it, there may be a veneer, you know, like a surface of the flesh and, 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 and the body but it is encasing uh, the spirit which is incorruptible. The spirit which is where God lives. God lives in your spirit. A lot of things are stored in the spirit of the born again believer. It, it will blow our mind. There are storehouses and chambers in your spirit that God stores things. Storehouses and chambers in your spirit. Do you know there are storehouses in the spirit realm? For instance, when we read Job, there are storehouses of rain, hail, snow, fire. So when, when God rained down fire from the, uh, uh, on the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, he didn't have to bring the fire from here. He drained. Because there are storehouses of fire in the, in the spirit realm. Snow, rain, all of them have storehouses. In the same way, there are storehouses in your spirit man. There are chambers. And there are also channels. Channels that allow for the release of treasures from your spirit to your soul. Because all the activity of the spirit must end in the soul. The soul is the final recipient of the treasure that God deposits in your, in your spirit. When a person is growing spiritually, it's not a function of the spirit. It's a function of the soul. How the soul has been affected by the spirit. Your spirit man will not grow Everything is already fixed into your spirit. It is how your soul is being transformed. That, is, that, that, that will be an, an index of your spiritual maturity. How your soul has been imparted by your spirit. The goodies in your spirit. How they have been released into your soul. Is that a good man out of the treasure, out of the treasure of his heart, brings forth good things. The treasure. There's, there's a treasure in your heart, in your spirit. And you draw them and then release them into the soul, you know, from time to time, 
so the soul also begins to conform to the spirit that is what christian maturity is what are some of the things that are hidden in our spirit let me give you some examples number one the holy spirit himself the holy spirit himself he dwells in our spirit 1 corinthians 6 17 is that he that is joined to the lord is one spirit with him he will join to the Lord. It's one spirit with him. Where? In your spirit. 